Yeah, just uh, what a what a great game. Uh, a lot of times when you get to this point in the tournament, it gets a little crazy with you know the the pitching and recycling guys and offense can take over a little bit or maybe it gets one sided especially when if one team's played another game or more more games than the other and you know I thought tonight was just a great great pitching duel uh, you know uh, still and young and young just did a tremendous job holding us down young came in and and really got them through that inning uh, I think it was a six where we needed to score at least one run to cut that lead in half. I think it was three to one. And then, you know, obviously Knutson came in and, and pitched as well as he's probably pitched against us, um, you know, in this tournament. So, uh, you know, it was just a, it was a great tournament. You look back and, and I think about the scores in this tournament. Um, you know, we played five games. We, we won three to nothing. Game one uh, for us, both teams had good pitchers going, and it was tight for a while. And then the next four games we play, they're all one-run games. And I just think that shows the the strength of the of the teams that were here. You know, is there an elite elite team here? You know, time will tell. We'll see how Missouri State does. But uh, I think everybody was really good. And as far as just solid one through four, there probably wasn't a better regional in the country um, because some teams obviously get overranked or overseeded. Um, you know, but I just, I just think it was a, it was a great regional. And I think with all the problems that we had with the weather and battle, and I think that, uh, the fans were incredible, our support staff, our administration, I think they did the best job they could. And I think they did a great job. And, uh, you know, uh, the crowd last night, I didn't really mention it was, was unbelievable at one, two, three in the morning. It, you know, I felt like there was. I felt like there was 10,000 people in the stands. I mean, they were they were right on cue with everything that was going on and made you proud to be uh, associated with Arkansas and be their coach. Questions for the student-athletes? Down in front. Bob? You guys both had real good hitting games, but overall Missouri State shut you all down pretty good. What, what do you think made them tough, I guess, especially uh, K- Knutson or however you say his name? Uh, I mean, they're a good staff, good team overall, but, I mean, they, uh, after a third time playing a team in a weekend, uh, I mean, they they know how to attack certain hitters, and they attacked us uh, pretty much as good as they possibly can. And uh, we we weren't able to get the big hit a couple times, and they were, and that was the difference. Uh, Yeah, just what uh, Eric said, they they attacked us well. They knew... uh, how to approach us, and uh, they didn't miss many pitches. So, um, yeah, we couldn't get the big hit when we needed it, and they kept us off the bases pretty well. So, back down in front to Bob. All right, we'll go. We'll go Nate first. I guess for for both players, just how big was that uh, the play in center field? I guess it was Cook hit that shot that that y- y- y'all would have had a base runner on when when possibly could have scored some runs. I mean, it's hard to appreciate how big of a play that was when it was so early in the game because there's so much uh, game left. But, I mean, you look back at it and that falls. I mean, the in- the entire inning changes, the entire game changes. Uh, I mean, no one knows what, what would have happened, but it would have been nice if it could fall. But it was a great play by him, and props to him. Yeah, that was a really tough you guys had a great season overall, really bounced back from a tough season last year. Just what what do you guys feel about the this, this season overall and maybe what you can take away from this and, you know, looking ahead to next year? It's a great group of guys. I mean, we were supposed to be at the field at 3 o'clock today and everybody was in the locker room at 2.15. I mean, everybody wants to be around each other and uh, it's going to be tough. Uh, yeah, I think we were picked to finish last in the SEC West, so – we had a lot to prove from day one, and I think we did a good job of uh, proving people wrong. So uh, next year will be fun, too. Any more questions for the student-athletes? Okay, thanks, guys. Questions for Coach? We'll go down in front to the left, Coach. Tom? Hey, Dave, how would you explain uh, nine hits in the game? And it seemed like the pitching might have been low, but – Murphy threw a great one, and so did their guy still. I think, I think both teams were a little bit tired. You know, you can mentally – man, you can be into it, but just, you know, playing to 3.15 a.m., uh, 
messes you up, you know. I mean, I went to bed. When I went to sleep, the sun was coming up, you know. It just it's, it's not normal, and uh, I don't play, and, and I feel a little different today, you know. Uh, I, I think our, our minds, minds and our heart were in it, but the bodies just weren't quite there. And, uh, you know, I think you, but at the same time, both the pitchers did a great job. I mean, still, he's been a really good conference pitcher for them all year. And Murphy on their Heather hand for us, he's been a Tuesday night guy. Uh, he's been a reliever. We, we started him on a Sunday because we never could find that number three, that, that third starter when, you know, when Campbell went down at the beginning of the season, we, we scrambled and we just told him, hey, we're going to find a way to get it done. And, and we did. You know, we, somehow we, we managed with, uh, with, the, with guys trying to, you know, take that spot that maybe weren't ready for it and uh but it was just just a good job by the pitching i mean and then you look at young i mean that guy right handers there's no batting average against him right hand the right handers don't hit him you know i mean if you look at it and they're hitting like 052 against him two for 57 it's some unbelievable number and uh came in and did the job and you know then jordan did a great job and uh just a just a great ball game back down in front Bob. Yeah, Dave, well, um, what went into the decision to start, you know, Casey back-to-back days? And did you ever imagine he'd, he'd go five innings and he threw 155 pitches? I mean, I yeah, guess Casey, kind of what, what went into all that? Yeah, just, uh, you know, Casey, we took yesterday, and he basically is the one who kind of brought it up. Hey, you know, yesterday was just like me relieving. I threw I threw to eight hitters, nine hitters, whatever. Well, I think he threw two and a third. Um, you know, did we think we, he was going to be able to go five today? We're hoping he'd go four, but he got through it. And then we had a couple lefties coming up in the top of the fifth. So he went back out or he, I think he, he went up in the six and didn't get him. He walked and we we're going to let him get that one hitter. Um, just, you know, sometimes you have to do what you have to do at this time of year, you know, and sometimes it doesn't look good. And I feel bad about that. I think if uh, if we had 18 full scholarships instead of 11-7, it would probably change this. And I can talk about it a lot, but we are limited on what we can give uh, and what we have. And everybody has a shortage of pitchers. And if you go across the country and you see who, who started guys that started Friday, you know, I mean, Missouri State did it, Texas Tech did it. I could go on and on. It's because we just we don't have enough pitchers. Straight back, Coach. Coach, your players hit upon Hunter Steinmetz, the center fielder for the Bears, running into yep. the wall, making that catch. If that ball was to drop, just talk about that inning, how big of a play I think that was. That was uh, I think it was the third inning, and there was one out, if I remember correctly. I mean, when that ball was hit, I didn't know if it would get out because the ball had some topspin on it. Grant hits a lot of balls with topspin. When they leave the bat, they look like they're going to go. But he really closed on that ball, and, and he, he was fearless on that play. I mean – he never glanced at that wall, and he knew it was right there. And uh, about the time he the ball hit his glove, he hit the wall. Um, it was an incredible play. I mean, gutsy play. And uh, I think that play just kind of shows you how, how hard these teams play and how hard they, how much they want to win. And, uh, you know, that's a double. Probably not going to get more than a double out of it with Grant on there. But it was, you know, we'd had a runner on second and one out. Um, who knows what would have happened. All the way to the left, Coach. Coach, over to your left. Uh, your two, three, four, five, and six hitters have been great all year, yeah. but tonight they were 0 for 19. What, what specifically yeah. what, what was the big issue for them tonight? You know, I just uh, – I mean, that was the difference in the ball game. You know, when you really take a step back, one-run game, and then there were a couple of situations where we, we had three and four and five up with runners at uh, second and third. Bonfield had runners at second and third with one pitch to go. You know, as a, a full count. I think a wild pitch might have been on a 2-2. I'm not sure. But uh, uh, I, I would just say that it was uh, some really good pitching. You know, good pitching gets out good hitting. And, uh, you know, Spanberger hit two balls decent, but hit them right where the second baseman normally plays, although they were playing him in shallow right field. But he hit it right right at, at, that, at that spot, didn't drive any balls. And, you know, just give credit to pitchers getting them tonight. I, I really don't know. To the left again, Coach Clay. It looked like um, two coaches had a nice conversation after it was over. What was what just, was that? Uh, yeah, you know, I congratulate them on a great win, and uh, you know, wish them the best down. I don't know. I guess probably they're going to be in Fort Worth. I don't know what happened there, and uh, you know, that was really the gist of it. To be honest with you, go back in front to Bob. I know a tough loss, but you guys won 19 more games, one win short of a super regional. 
um, more typically year for you after last season. Just, just how, how how would you assess the season? You know, overall, disappointing ending, but a pretty great season. Yeah, just proud of the, the players, and that's what I told them in the outfield. I told them, you know, just <clears throat> just walk out of here with your head held high because weren't projected to do a whole lot this year. You know, after having a bad year and. You know, we had guys that took it personal and, and went home last summer and, and or went out and played and got better. Like I've said many times, fall ball was 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 upbeat and uh, the guys worked extremely hard and, and uh, you know, they went on a mission to make sure that that didn't happen again. And I, I think, you know, my, my coaches did an incredible job with, you know, Coach Vitella with the hitters and, you know, just, uh, you know, Josh helping Tony with the hitters and, and then obviously Wes coming in and, and rounding this pitching staff into shape. I mean, I, I couldn't ask for more from those guys. And, uh, uh, you know, so it was, uh, you know, I'm proud of the guys. I, I told them that. I'm proud of you. You know, here we are. We got beat. We just played four one-run games in a row. We won three of them. That's pretty good. I'll take three out of four any time in one-run ball games at this level. And uh, hopefully we'll build off of this and, and, and we'll bounce back next year, figure out, we're going to lose a couple of pretty good pitchers um, to the draft. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll get a few guys to, to not sign and come in here. We'll, we'll, we'll be back next year. Got time for a couple more. I guess you, you were at least the fifth number one seed to, to lose. Does that just speak to how balanced everything is and how tough it is to win? Yeah, I think so. I mean, uh, you know, we lost to a team that won all but one conference game. I mean, so – you know, I was happy to be a number one seed, but I think there were a couple of number one seeds here. I think Oral Roberts could have been a number one seed. They're as good as anybody here, in my opinion. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, it was a great regional. I, I was just really competitive. And one play here, one pitch there, uh, make a difference on who moves on. And, uh, you know, hats off to Missouri State. They made all the plays. They made some great plays tonight. All the way to the left again, Coach. Coach, uh, Blay Knight having to go out on short rest. He um, didn't have to. So, okay. yeah, uh, I was just wondering, it, w- would you say it's just the structure? Would you say more scholarships could? No, I already talked about that. Blaine Knight really wanted to go after those two guys. And we told him if, uh, you know, we get to that point in the eighth inning, we're in the game, we'll, we'll let you go out there and see if you can get Berger and Ironman out. And then, you know, with the, with the pinch hitter, you know, or – you know, replacement with the injury. Uh, we thought it, once he got uh, Berger out, we thought no reason to pitch to Ironman because he's about as hot as any hitter in the country right now. And, um, you know, we just felt like we ought to walk somebody. So I guess he ended up throwing about nine pitches, and that was going to be his last hitter. But, yeah, he really wanted to go out and pitch, I think, one more time. He's a draft-eligible sophomore. He'll be, you know, probably be moving on here shortly. Last question to the left, Clay. You guys won 45. When when did you think y'all might be good? Um, we I felt like that we were good offensively in the fall. I was really concerned about our pitching. Um, you know, I felt like our defense was going to be better than it was last year, and it has been. But, uh, you know, as far as when the season started, you know, preseason is what it is. A lot of times you get – you know, you never know what's going to happen. You hit our league because our league can slap you down pretty quick, even though you're rolling. Um, but – probably about midway through conference I thought we're pretty good but I knew we were an arm short and probably an arm short as far as a starter and one in the pen uh, for being a really good team but uh, you know I think the first of May to be honest with you when we got out of school and man we started just playing and uh, I mean we we put it on a couple of pretty good teams here and there and one all you know we won that series with Vandy two out of three and they're getting ready to go to a Super Regional, and then we won that last series at A&M. They're going to a Super Regional. You know, we go to the tournament and lose the first game and then win three straight. And You know, I don't know what Auburn's doing, but, you know, beat them 12 to nothing, beat Florida 16 to nothing. You know, you're thinking, hey, maybe maybe we're pretty good. But uh, I don't know. You know, I just – I really like the makeup of the team, and I told them that. And it's hard talking to them out there because they're all teary-eyed, and it, it was it was tough. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, everybody.